if you're thinking about the continent in terms of its connection to the rest of the world, how are you thinking about it? We, we still view, or the art world still views Africa, the continent, as Africa, the country, if you like. So they talk about African art or contemporary African art as, as one would talk about a country. And there is still the lack of real understanding to what, what is happening in, in Joburg or in Cape Town as, as, as opposed to what's happening in Ghana, Accra, or Lagos in Nigeria, or in, in Senegal. You can't escape the politics of the, of the place. This whole notion of global south and global north is just English. We are not represented. We are not, we don't see ourselves. We don't make that connection. We are here, there, everywhere. Let's try and balance our stories. I'm not really pro the kind of, like, everyone talking of the continent up, up as if like infrastructure doesn't matter or education doesn't matter or you know there's, it can be really surface and I think everything I do is always critical it's never about oh we have we're so wonderful this is what's going on and we can you know we have great designers we're really hip we're all this you know like crap I'm not interested in that there's other perspectives as well ask questions that are, are tough ask the real questions not ask the normal questions like every but also just re-establish the connection of things in Panafri because I, I make films about where I'm from and as a part of the community. So it's not like someone from outside like coming in and like, because that's been the history, right? Of like township stories, yeah. you know, or like you know, stories of Africa. But this is the things that affect us basically and we're just trying to make sense of it and um, to put it out there as well to... to to have others um, join in on our conversation. This discussion with the people was very, very, very important. To ask us, what are you doing? Why? How we are thinking also. I mean, the art come from people. <laughs> and we are part of them. To understand more what they thinking, what they need, and to translate this in the world. I would love to think that the ideas exist in the imaginations of viewers and the readers, the, the audiences, that they take it away and change it and transform it and personalize it and, and use it in some way. For me, uh, a perfect sort of recipe for uh, doing a project um, is to have people that know uh, a lot about the project uh, and combine them with people that know nothing. And, and that sort of polarity between um, the two worlds uh, raises questions. And, you know, like I said, the questions are as valuable as answers. How, how can I re engage with history? How can I re interpret history? How can I re imagine history and my place now in this urban setting? You know? I think for me, history, history is. Is, 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 is first and foremost a kind of a, an engagement of people, isn't it? So, I mean, without a story, it's people, it's us, all of us telling our stories. It's personal. Mm -hmm. You can't deny the personal story. You, you just have to know at what point to push the record button. Let's have a nuanced conversation about how we fail, how we succeed, and what's good and what's not. So again, personal stories forming part of a, a wider global discourse. That's the only way that we can have a more powerful discourse. So. I mean, I'm guessing at the same time, you know, just, just like any new investment where there isn't a proven track record, it's often difficult for people to just jump right into it if they can't necessarily see the results. So, you know, a lot of the groundwork needs to be done by certain people who believe that there's that vision that can actually be achieved over time. I mean, it's not necessarily unique to any industry. So it's, um, like I mentioned, it's shouting out loud, we're here, we can do this. So. so this is also where online platforms and new technologies come in. We have no choice. We have to keep updating that and using that. Also, remember, technology is also changing. Yeah. That's a new thing. You don't need fancy six millimeter cameras. Mm. To, what's interesting about today is that we actually have... Uh, uh, modes or ways of making our own personal history, i.e. With, with what we're doing now on Skype or with podcasts or with, with our telephones. Sure. If, if it's online, if it's online, it's open to everyone. I mean, this podcast project is something that is, is the first time I'm hearing this. We look forward to the first episode on it. Um, definitely keep us posted as soon as it does come out on podcast and we look forward to it. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs>